if you market yourself, you will get the job. And that is the purpose of us prepping you for this interview session. We're going to do real mock interviews. We're not going to sugarcoat it because we want you to be prepared because the job market is there. And notice I'm saying market yourself. And so even though we're education majors, at this point we have to pretend like we have some business sense. So we're going to pretend that we're in the college <coughs> of business or the school of business because when you go to an interview, you're marketing yourself. And the first thing we would like to say is that by scanning the room and looking at each one of you, the first thing, you're ready. You have on the proper attire because we talk about that all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a PowerPoint to kind of give you an overview of what you need to do to prep yourself because if you don't even prep yourself initially, then you're already setting yourself up for failure. And so most of the time, we do not prep ourselves for the interview process. And we want to make sure that we prep ourselves. But before I just take over, I want to have Ms. Ellis and then Dr. Hill Carter say a few words because all of us, again, want you to be the best candidate. You have to be confident. Confident. I'll share another thing with you. Dr. Hill Carter and I, we didn't know this, but we were competing for the same job at a point in time. I didn't know Dr. Hill Carter. She didn't know me. And both of us are very confident. And so once we got the opportunity to come to the university, I was like, this job is mine. I just knew it. You've got to claim it. You've got to feel it. You've got to taste it. You've got to know it's yours. And though, even though Ms. Ellidge and I are great colleagues and all this, as I tell my students all the time, when we get ready to go in that interview, I don't know you right now. You my competition. <laughs> She's my competition. Now after the interview, you know we can eat buddy buddy chum chum, but right now I gotta put my game face on. So let's see, I might be like Michael Jordan or something, or Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson knocking people out. So I'm gonna come in like Mike Tyson and Holyfield because I gotta do a knockout, a one-two combination, because I gotta get a job. <laughs> so you know, so you gotta look at it and think at it like that. And be excited when you go. Miss Ellis, what would you like to add? Great. I just want to say I appreciate you all coming because you've already made a great step in starting out. You're showing us that you are interested and you want to be the best teacher you can be just by learning things ahead of time. Um, I'm from Sykeston. I'm one of the ones who didn't leave my area. I taught 27 years as a public school teacher. But I always kind of had this inkling that I wanted to do one more thing when I heard about this position at SEMO coming open. And I said, I want that job. I'm going to do everything I can to get that job. And one thing that you have to do, it's very important, look at the area in which you're interested in. I read everything I could find about SEMO because once they started asking me questions, I wanted to say, I know your slogan, SEMO is the first choice. It's first choice for educators, first choice for teachers, first choice for employees. So it's so important that you pick your area where you're going to be a teacher and you start reading about it. Start learning those contextual factors. I know that you've been preached that a lot of times, but how important it is to relay those information kind of things when you're at a job interview. And I just want to say welcome and thank you so much for coming today. It really makes us feel good that you all are showing an interest that you want to get out there and, and take over that interview and, and get chosen to be a good teacher. Thank you all so much. Stop.